welcome to Explore Adventure Park in Playa del Carmen, Mexico. Today we're going to be walking you through Explore, the zip lines, the ATVs, underground caverns, and everything else that Explore has to offer to tell you if it's worth paying the money. Let's do it! All right, so the zip lines are the first activity that you do at Explore. There are a total of 15 zip lines, and they range uh, anywhere from about 15 seconds all the way up to about 45 seconds, which is the longest zip line. The longest and highest zip line in Mexico is actually in Explore. So there's a total of 2.4 miles of zip lines that you go through in Explore. Pause for a screen break. So just know that, uh, again, if you've never gone ziplining, certainly you're going to have an awesome time. Uh, the highest zipline, which I believe is the one, the very first one that you do, is actually 145 uh, feet tall, uh, which is 45 meters. But uh, one way or another, the zip lining is awesome, and it's one of the only places in the world, at least that I've been to, that you can actually do a dual zip line, both um, in front and in back, and then also kind of side by side facing each other. I've never actually had a zip line that you could actually do that. But again, there are weight restrictions, things like that, so just uh, be aware. But again, the zip lining, highly recommended. It is, again, the first activity that you typically do when you go to um, explore. We got there about 11 o'clock in the morning, so you definitely want to get there as soon as possible because there's definitely some lines uh, to be had. So a couple of the zip lines, I believe it's actually three in total, you actually start off uh, you know, at the top of the zip line tower, but you actually go right into the water, and as you'll see in just a second, I skid across the water kind of like a rock. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry if you can't swim for the zip lines. There's always somebody on the end of the zip line to help you out once you uh, get to the water. And again, you're still strapped into the zip line, so that's not a problem. Certainly, there are activities that you need to be able to swim, like the cave swim, and then maybe even the underground rafts. Uh, you don't want to fall out, but um, other than that, like I said, the zip lines, super, uh, super fun activity. Definitely, you need to do that if you go to explore. I'm pretty sure that my wife's favorite zip line was the hammock, and you're about to see that right here. We're kind of almost racing, but uh, it's a lot of fun. You're not really strapped in anything, but again, it's just a different experience uh, doing it in the hammock versus in the zip line. But again, a lot of fun, uh, definitely a different experience. <laughs> just when you hit that water, uh, just make sure you're holding on because you'll get flung out if, you, <laughs> if you're not hanging on. All right, all joking aside, I have to say that the quote-unquote amphibious vehicles uh, were my favorite part of Explore. And again, if you know anything about side-by-sides, razors, like actual, you know, all-terrain off-road vehicles, uh, these little John Deere, almost like golf carts, are not going to be anything extreme. Uh, to you, and they're really slow. I mean, what's funny is uh, the two that, so there's two circuits. So I let my, my wife drive the first circuit, and that that amphibious vehicle was painfully slow. And I there's a clip, and we'll show the clip of her flooring it up a hill, and it's literally, <laughs> we, we didn't know if it was going to make it up the hill. Um, mine was significantly better than hers, uh, it probably got up to, I don't know, seven or eight miles an hour. I mean, hers maxed out on flat ground was, you know, pretty, pretty bad. It was uh, very slow, but on a whole, I was actually very impressed with the actual layout of the track. Here's where we barely got up the hill. in the fact that there were lots of turns, there were lots of bumps. I mean, the couple in front of us, the guy just had it out for his girlfriend. Uh, every single bump, he just floored it over it. And I mean, they were being, 
jostled out of their seats. It was really hilarious. At, at one point, I laughed so hard that they actually turned around and looked at us. Um, but uh, overall, though, the terrain is actually a lot of fun. Uh, I actually go through a couple big mud holes at pretty good speed, and you know, you get a good splash out of it. Ready? Yes! Ready, Ready or now we're going! You go over, uh, I think it was two hanging bridges, which is fun. Uh, watch out for all the cameras too. There's a lot of little camera points that, uh, you know, again, take your picture. Um, and really, the coolest part is um, the caves. You actually go through, I'm wanting to say maybe, I don't know, maybe 15 caves um, over the course of both of the, um, both of the courses which is really awesome. I mean, you go under the ground, you've got uh, LED lights on the front of the amphibious vehicle. Um, and what's funny is in the description of um, explore for these vehicles, the, the difference they say between ATVs and amphibious vehicles is that the engine doesn't flood, I guess, uh, with these vehicles. It doesn't float, it just, uh, it just doesn't shut off. But anyway, you can put up to four people in these guys, but again with- Come on, baby. Hey. Four people, uh, I would say that it would go very, very slow. Just try to, try to, if you can see when they come in and you actually get into one of these things, see if it actually goes decently fast, because again, some of them are just really slow and it makes it not so much fun for the people behind you. But anyway, definitely another highly recommended activity. Lots of fun. Uh, and again, it's not the actual vehicle that's a ton of fun. It's the course, the course is awesome, the caves are awesome, uh, the mud pits, it's, it's, it's definitely a lot of fun. All right, so the reason I show those photos is because it's very telling of the raft. I would honestly say I don't necessarily have to do the rafts again. If I went back, I probably wouldn't even bother, especially if it's a very busy day. The reason I say that is because there are so many people that don't know how to ride a boat or paddle. I mean, you'll see in these kind of these clips here, there's just people everywhere and a lot of times they'll just get stuck and then we'll just be sitting there <laughs> waiting for them to kind of get unstuck. So I mean, really the entire time, I would say probably 70 to 80 percent of our time in the rafts we were just kind of sitting there waiting for the person in front of us to get unstuck and i mean at some point there were probably i don't know 15 rafts behind us waiting for this one guy who just could not get out of his own way so i mean the concept is pretty neat certainly it's underground caverns and again i apologize for the the image quality it's just pretty dark down there uh but it is a really cool thing they have lights in the water, um, so it looks pretty neat. Again, you're going through these underground caves. There are some pretty sharp turns, so again, if people don't know, you know, paddling or, you know, if they've never been in a kayak before, it's probably going to be fairly difficult for them, but overall, it was a pretty cool activity. Uh, it's just unfortunate that uh, there's just so many people that just don't know <laughs> how to steer a boat. Uh, so anyway... Uh, it's good. I would say it's my least favorite activity. Certainly the swim, the cave swim, which comes next, I would say it was uh, quite a bit more entertaining, even though it was only like five minutes. Uh, but you do have to do a lot of swimming and uh, you can't touch the bottom in most cases um, in that next activity. But it's definitely, uh, it's definitely a really cool one. So uh, here we go on to the cave swim. All right, unfortunately, it's time for the last activity. No! <laughs> at Explore, uh, which is the cave swim. Uh, there are other things that you can do at Explore. There's uh, a walk, but again, we just did not have time. And I'll kind of go into the specific details about how much time we had, how much we paid, all that good stuff uh, through Norwegian Cruise Line at the end of the video. But as for the cave swim itself, the water is cold. I'm wanting to say it's probably 68 to 70 degrees. Uh, it's definitely chilly when you get in and my wife, honestly, she said, I kind of want to turn back, but we just knew that the end of this little swim would be pretty fun. So 
There are two options for the cave swim. There is apparently a 30 minute swim. And then we took the short one, which is about a 10 minute swim. Now, if I had fins, uh, a snorkel and a mask, it would have been absolutely no problem. But because I had kind of chunky sandals on, uh, it wasn't really easy. And I mean, I, I consider myself a pretty good swimmer. Uh, most of the time you're kind of just, you know, kicking, doing doggy paddle, things like that. Obviously they give you a life jacket. So you are floating. Um, and when you get closer to the main room of the cave swim, which everybody sees in the videos, which you also saw at the beginning in my intro, uh, which is basically the kind of the circular waterfall area. It's a really neat area. It's definitely worth the, the short one at the very least. Again, if you had more time, maybe we would have done the long one. Uh, although, I'm not sure. With the, like I said, with the water shoes on, with the sandals on, it was fairly challenging just to do the short one, so I'm not sure we would have done the long one. But uh, it is a really beautiful section, a really cool place to take pictures. It's definitely worth the, the short swim. Um, but I would say it's probably my third favorite activity. Definitely, I would say the ATV is the, my favorite, uh, the zip lines. Uh, the hammock is, I think the hammock's included because it's part of the zip lines. Then you have the cave swim because I really like that last room. Uh, it's really pretty. Uh, and then the rafts only, again, be, just, just because of the, <laughs> the traffic. No fault of um, Explore X Caret at all. Here we are finally eating at uh, 3.05. We have to leave at 3.30, but we've done pretty much everything we need to do. Other than the 45 minutes walking. We didn't do the under extra crest, extraterrestrial something around there, but we got, to go back to we got place. chips and guac. We have seafood cocktail. She got some awesome uh, ceviche. Salad. Yep, seafood salad. Delicious. I don't, what did you get? Guanabana. and this is some purple corn drink. Get the nice chips and guac. Mwah, delicious. All right, final verdict, guys. And all these photos you're seeing were the professional photos that we purchased uh, from Explore. Uh, again, it, you just basically get a package. It was $60 for the photo package. And you can, you know, again, take a limited amount of pictures. You can download them offline, uh, things like that. They're accessible for a month after you go to Explore. So overall, was it worth it? I think it definitely was. It's not cheap. Uh, we bought it through Norwegian and it was $175 a person, so it's not a cheap place to go. Uh, we did have a credit uh, of $50 through Norwegian for a short excursion, so that made it a little bit more affordable. Um, definitely, it was definitely a unique experience, I'll say that. Uh, definitely the combination of the natural as well as, again, the zip lines and the ATVs and stuff, it's hard to come by. I really didn't, I've never, I've never been to a place like this. Certainly like a Busch Gardens or, or a Disney World is a lot of fun, but there's no nature there. This is, I mean, again, it's that kind of an awesome combination of nature uh, as well as adrenaline kind of activities. Overall, really like to explore, highly recommended. Would I go back? Absolutely, I would go back. It's a lot of fun. Uh, if you have any questions, please let us know. We just went uh, last month in September of 2021 with COVID in full swing. Uh, but anyway, if you have any questions, let us know. Please smash that subscribe button. Hit that like button for more great content from Drew Views. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, everybody, and don't stop exploring.